Hi, I'm Deborah. Today, Deanna and I are gonna talk about the contour, which is step number three in our Tim makeup technique. We use the contour to give definition to our bone structure. Mm -hmm. But what's really magical about it is that when we do step number two, which is the tinted moisturizer, that highlights the highlighted areas of our bone structure without using an extra product. Right. So then this makes it even more simple when we use step number three to give just a little bit of a shadow underneath our bone structure and also right in the corners of our forehead to give definition to the oval of our face, Which is so subtle, but I notice when I don't do it there. But you don't see it when you do it. Right, and so a lot of times on the TV, especially uh, the newscasters or anyone you know in, in the industry, what I see is a big line mm -hmm. uh, for their contour. And uh, so with the Tim technique, using this color and this brush, this is the Kabuki brush, it puts it on so it's very subtle and you don't see a stripe on the side. You never wanna see the contour. Right. You just wanna have it give the definition to your bone structure. So when it's all, the only thing that it's doing and all that it's doing is really deepening the shadow that we already have. Right. Yes. from being a three-dimensional person. Yes, and so so it, 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 we want it to be subtle. Yes. Okay, so one of the ways to do that is when you pick up the contour color on the brush, see it's, it's all sitting at the end of the brush, always use your hand to work it into the brush. Your hand or a tissue? Well, the hand works better though. Okay. I've tried the tissue, it, it, it's not as effective okay. as the hand. So, but if you have an aversion to that, just use a tissue um, and you work it right into the brush so that when you do put it on your skin, it's very subtle, okay? So it's here, it's here under the jawbone and in the corners of the forehead. And then in the winter time, because we're all a little bit paler in the winter, I use a little bit here on the chin and on the tip of the nose. Now, another use for this is really squeezing the brush. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more color, work it into the brush, and then I squeeze it so it's more narrow, and I do it, I sweep it right across my brow bone. Oh, nice. Look at that, yeah. Do it on mine. Okay. Um, tilt your chin up and look down. There we go. Right along the brow bone there. Oh, you can feel it. Oh, wow. I know. So it gives just a little bit more definition to the bone structure. Even if you have hooded eyes, you can still do this. Yeah, by chinning, chin up. Chin up, look down, down into your mirror, your and then just right on and below the brow bone. Love it. That yeah. looks great. So that's another use for it. Yes. And wasn't that great, Your the client that you had in yesterday, Jody? And what did she say to you? I mean, you were messaging her this morning. Well, she messaged me with a photo of herself. Do you have that photo? Oh, I do. Um, she messaged me with a photo. She, I had demonstrated the Tim on her yesterday. And so this morning she sent me a photo of herself in front of uh, a window and uh, said, I've got the glow, I've got the glow. And she and just told me how much she loved it in the message. And uh, there she is, she there's is. Jody. Wow. And one of the things that I noticed about Jody when she sent me that photo was the color of her eyes, mm. which that's the magical part of Tim, mm -hmm. is that all of these subtle things that we do on our face, the subtle techniques that we do, really which bring- Which are from portrait artists. Right. Deborah's a portrait artist. So what do they do? So it really um, just, evens everything out and for some reason, especially the lip color too. Now you can see Jody has her lip color on barely there, mm -hmm. which is perfect for her. Mm -hmm. I prefer a little bit brighter, Deanna prefers brighter. It's the same color on the lip stain um, and it's just applied differently. And we have videos on our website about doing that, um, how to get it barely there, light or bright. It so it's the lip color 
putting just a little bit of color on your face mm -hmm. that really accents the eye color. It accents the eye color and also the whites of the eyes. I mean, look at how bright Jody's whites of her eyes look. That's beautiful. And that was, you know, when I saw her last night, she was facing the natural light. When I, my focus went right to her beautiful, they're like a light, they're like light green, green. Yeah. a light green eye. They're beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And so, as you know, the eyes are the windows to our soul. So when you're bringing attention, when you're bringing that attention, they're just looking right in your eyes, which is like looking at really who you are. And that's the whole Tim makeup technique. And it's our mission to take the hands of our sisters and lead them into the depths of their souls to reconnect with who they really are. Sure, because when we do that for ourselves, that's the vibe that we yes. give out. And that is what people are drawn to, is our vibe. And it's all about loving ourselves, loving the way we look. So Tim makes it so simple to love the way you look because it's only four steps. It's only six products. We have six products in our line, which is unheard of in the cosmetic industry. Yes because the cosmetic industry wants to keep selling you products. Yes, and we're not about that. It's no. about taking this less than five minute daily ritual and connecting with yourself. And if this is the only thing that you do all day, this is great. It's a great way to start it's the day. It's a great way to start the day. And then you'll see how that starts to build on other things as well. And you start doing more and more to connect with yourself. Well, and that's what I said to Jody. I, re I returned her message and said, welcome to the journey. The, the, the journey's beginning, the journey of self-love. Yes. Yes. And it is a process, it is a journey. So starting with Tim is the beginning. It's, it's the gateway into loving yourself. Yes. Starting five minutes every morning doing the Tim ritual. And so check us out, um, just check, click the link below and you can go to our website, read our blogs, see a lot more before and afters. And check this out for yourself, that you can connect with you, who you really are, within five minutes every day at the beginning of your day. Imagine what your life would be like then. Thank you so much for watching. We love you all. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.